Hey guys, Puneet here from Coach. This is video number 20 of step 1 of the advanced chord series called as everything about 7 chords. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you the 1, 2, 3, 2 progression in the major key. And uh, just before we get into the lesson, I would like to request you to check out my other guitar lessons as well as also the other lessons of this particular series. The links are there in the description below. Also, do like, share and subscribe. Also, if you wish to support me, uh, do check out my original music. Streaming and downloading it really helps me in a very big way in keeping these lessons for free. I am providing links to that as well in the description below. It's available on all the major streaming sites. So, please do check that out. So, the 1, 2, 3, 2 progression as the name suggests, it's in the key of C. C major, C major 7 actually, C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, back to D minor 7. So it's just an alphabetical order C, D, E, D. And uh, this is very commonly used in a lot of uh, songs, not just uh, pop songs but also a lot of jazz music. So uh, we'll be doing this again in the key of C major and G major in the open as well as the bar shapes. The tempo for this is again 70 beats per minute. You can use any strum pattern that you want and even a plucking pattern or a slapping pattern whatever you wish to do and uh, the tabs that you'll be seeing on the screen are to be read from string number six through to string number one x means mute So there you go, it's a pretty simple progression. Uh, you can uh, spice this up by adding a passing minor 7 chord between the 3 and the 2. So when you're coming back from E minor 7 to D minor 7 in the key of C, you can add an, uh, a D sharp minor 7 or an E flat minor 7, the same thing. So. You can even add it between uh, the D and the E. So. Similarly, in the G also you can do this. So uh, this is the way the passing minor 7 chord is used and it's fitted into half the half a measure of the uh, chord preceding it. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you've been able to follow along. If you have any doubts, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you've understood everything that I've taught you, do move on to the next video.